Hey guys, today I would like to show you how to enhance usability and representation of your LJS files and register C6. These files are like a JS system's universal digital reality project files and are in extremely flexible format. These LJS files are powered by Jetstream technology, allowing users to access all of their project data, including points, imagery, and supplemental information, geotext, metadata, etc., instantly without import and load times. Across the full reality capture tool, chain including Cyclone 3D, Cloudworks and TrueView Viewer. So by default the LGS is the best format by itself, but it could be even better if you make a few enhancements and add interaction objects that will expand the usability of the file. First of all, try to clean your cloud as much as it possible. Clean point cloud looks better, weight lighter and all automatic extraction tool give you more accurate results. As you could know, in Register360 there is a manual cleaning tool and automatic filters. Don't forget to use them both in your project. The combination of them will give you the best result. The Detect Moving Object filter in Cyclone Register360 works on a bundle to detect objects that have moved between setups. Move points are marked in red after the filter has been run on a registration. To run the filter, right-click on the bundle and execute the detect moving objects command. The filter will automatically detect and mark the points that are associated with the object that are moved between setups. After the processing has finished, the points associated with moved objects are classified and highlighted. To show them, click the move points button. Use the fence tool in the upper toolbar to draw a fence around an area of interest. Then use the delete inside or outside of the drawn fence. Also, you could just click delete all marked points to delete all of them. To finish the process and combine the grayscale points with the desired red marked points, click the show move points icon again. If you need to delete some static objects that were located above the floor, then you could use the smooth surface filter. After running it, the user will be presented with good and bad points, which they can keep or discard either by fencing off certain areas for removal or removing all bad points the same way as detect moving object filter. Click on the smooth surface icon and the color mapping will turn to grayscale. Double click on central location on the representative surface to begin the detection process. The detection processes will run and expose the initial result in grayscale while the non-surface data or bad points are shown in red. Next, click on the areas that have overlap in red and gray points to refine the results in those areas. Continue this process until the desired smooth surface is fully detected. Next, using the standard fencing tool, fence desired area and then use delete inside or delete outside of the fence to remove only the red marked points. To finish the process and combine the grayscale smooth surface with the desired red marked points, click the smooth surface icon again. One more useful tool for cleaning point clouds and not only is limit boxes. Also limit boxes could be stored in LGS files, so you could use them in additional scenarios for analyzing your data. By clicking create limit box, a temporary clipping box is placed and shown that is vertically aligned to the z-axis and fits the setup. To resize the limit box, hover over the box faces to highlight. The highlighted faces can be moved using the mouse in two directions. Hold the shift key for selecting the opposite faces. To rotate the limit box, hover over an edge line while holding the alt key to highlight the line. The highlighted edge will become a handle for rotation. Hold alt and shift keys to select the opposing edges. The created limit box are temporary and discarded when the user switches to a different view mode unless stored. Using the limit box manager, users can save newly created boxes, delete existing boxes, activate clipping functionality, set the visibility and export all options. Check the export options to add the clip to support the export format of Cycle Enterprise and LGS. Next work with images before exporting them to LGS file. I showed in one of my previous tutorials how to edit colors there. You could find the link in description for that tutorial. But sometimes you should also blue faces and car plates on these images. For that purpose, you could use the Edit Image Blur tool. Select Setup and click on it with the right mouse button. In the pop-up window, select Edit Image Blur. In the period window, you will see the panoramic image where you could click Auto Blur and the software with IE will detect people and car plates on the image and will add blur on them. If you will select the view button, you could add blur at any place you want by holding the left and right mouse buttons. 
Add additional files and links as geotext to your project. Geotext can be created and edited in Setup Cloud View. Simply enter the Setup Cloud View and click on the Edit Geotext button on the top toolbar. On the right setting window, you could select a file from imported assets or from your computer for signing it to a new geotag and specify the geotag and name for it. Additional materials like sound, images, videos will improve the immersive effect and rise the information of the file. As additional materials, you could add port images to your scene as geotag. For getting a nice result, you should do the below steps. Inside Map View, use the UCS tool to square the bundle to XYZ axis for proper orthographic orientation. Create a limit box and set the size around the area of interest. From the upper toolbar select create auto image. Click draw a ref line using left click and drag draw a line with the direction arrow facing the front of the area of interest. Set the slice thickness. This set how deep the image capture will look when rendering the image. Set the file location to the desired folder on the disk. Set image scale and image smoothing. Check suppress styling to get one single high resolution image. Add this auto image as basic geotag to your scene. Add additional waypoints from the set of view. It could be a helpful additional point of view, for example, from bird view above all sight, from potential person or camera location, etc. Select points with the pick point tool and click create waypoints button at the bottom toolbar. In the pop-up window, input height from the selected point and click the OK button. When creation will be done, you will see the new waypoint. Double click on it and the camera location will be transferred to that place. Create advanced user coordinate systems. This tool allows greater flexibility in creating coordinate system and the point cloud, which can be used later in Revit, for example, or other CAD software that requires to have separate coordinate system for different buildings or other objects. You could create the UCS by different methods. By pick, this method will allow the location of pick point on the point cloud to adopt the coordinates set by the user. Then optionally, the user can create a plane to set the X or Y axis. By plane allows the creation of UCS by assigning a plane either X or Y axis without the assigning of a coordinate like by peak in the previous workflow. By corner, this method uses a plane created by the corner grow to set X and or Y and the corner vertex to set the UCS. All created UCS will be stored in LJS file. If you have a complex scene with different zones, areas and floors, add the master sitemap. It's a sitemap that contains an image that can be used to link to other sitemaps within a scene in TrueView. A master sitemap can be used to help navigate the complex scenes with multiple sitemaps. The master sitemap only contains an image with hyperlinks no setups or links. The master sitemap can only be created and configured in the finalized section of Cyclone Reps 360 and requires two or more sitemaps to be used. In the review and optimize section, click Add Sitemap, then drag and drop setups into a new sitemap or multiple new sitemaps. Don't forget that you could add any image as a background for your sitemaps and place setups over it. In the finalized section, click Add Master Sitemap and select an image. Select sitemap here hyperlinks, then create hyperlink and define the clickable hotspot of sitemap using the mouse to draw a closed polygon. Then select the sitemap that the hotspot links to from the drop-down list. Repeat the previous step for all sitemaps to create one master sitemap with hyperlinks to all sub-sitemaps. After all collection will be done, go to the report step and publish LJS file. Open it in the TrueView viewer and you will see your master plan. Click on the required area and the viewer will open for you additional plan with only relevant for Z sitemap setups. Open any setup view and you will see geotext and additional waypoints. On the left toolbar you could select different limit boxes and switch between different coordinate systems. The point cloud will be clean, faces and cup plates on images will be blurred and image colors looks much better than if you leave them by default.
add to scene to d or 3d content it could be ifc or bg or coe formats that models will be visible in panoramic and in 3d view you could change their sizes position and rotation and you could do measurements between models and point clouds so it will increase the benefits from the using of this file save the lgs file before closing it uh, to store all your models in your scene Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget that all details about this and other tutorials you could find in the description and the link below. For today that's all, so thanks for watching and see you next time.